Welcome to the show where a failed art student tries to make a living online. Tonight we're having a look at this Kodak Vision 3 500T. You probably all know the younger Chad version of this film, Cinestill 800T. I say younger, but what I really mean is that the Cinestill version has undergone plastic surgery. The 500T is the pure version of 800T, unmolested by the grubby hands of the Cinestill lab runners. Here are some beautiful examples I got with the Kodak 500T. If you're a Sinistil fanboy like me, there will be a considerable lack of swooning because look at that halation. It's non existent. Her de, where that halation at? While technically they're the same film, 500T has to be developed in ECN2. To get 800T developed in C41, you have to remove the anti halation layer from the film. This is what the lab at Sinistil does to adapt 500T to process in C41. The 500T then produces this cleaner image. The colours on the whole are very similar. Stay tuned for a future video where I compare the two in a more cinematically scientific way. Let's have another look though to see what this film can do. So in the UK, is Kodak Vision 3 500T actually better for your wallet? Well, this depends. I live in Kent and it so happens that Nick and Trick nearby where I live develop ECN2. They're a lovely shop and the only place that I know of in the UK who actually sell and develop Kodak Vision film. If you just want to try it out for a bit of fun, you can buy a roll. It's £5.25 for a roll of 30 exposures. Whereas it's £15 for 36 exposures of 800T, for me, as they're local, it's more economically viable for me to shoot 500T and still get those gorgeous colours. I urge that you just try using 500T sometime. Link in the description to where I bought my 500T. For now though, I'll leave you with all 30 shots I got with my 500T. See you next Tuesday for more.